the route I was going, I wasn't really thinking about coming back to school. I wasn't really feeling school at all. But seeing my mom and them go through that so much pain when I got kicked out of my previous school, that showed me I had to get back on track and that I need a high school diploma if I really want to go to college. The people in Coach at Excel changed my outlook on life because they they helped me keep going. They they pushed me further. So I couldn't really at times I really wanted to give up or at times I blanked out. The staff at Excel would, you know, pull me to the side and have a talk with me. They get you right back on track to where you need to be. Cause they don't want to see nobody left behind. They always want to see their students move forward. You know, most people don't get a chance to have that kind of support. So to have that kind of support behind you and to have them keep pushing you forward, it actually felt pretty good. Caleb came in pretty solid, um, has a great family background, so he pretty much knew uh, what he wanted to do as far as enroll into our program. I would say the biggest way he improved is that he became more focused and narrowed in on his uh, post-curricular choices. And from that, he allowed our program to help him make his choices and decide on choosing a college. Some of the key things that I'll take away from here when I graduate are the love that the teachers show, the staff show towards their students, and how it's going to impact us like when we graduate. The support I got from Chicago Excel Academy and the staff. They taught us a lot of like life skills and other other skills that, you know, we are need in a real world situation. As for Cassidy, I would say her confidence is what has greatly improved since enrolling into our program. She is very a very shy student. Um, didn't participate in a lot of our programs or nor wanted to. After becoming a member of student government, she got more active, gained more confidence, built herself up, um, and is very integrated within anything that we do now and wants to take part in anything that we do and actually takes ownership in any of our programs. So that's the biggest thing that has improved since she's enrolled into our program. My driving force is the students, and at the end of the day, seeing them achieve seeing them being able to overcome any the things that they're going through in their everyday lives, seeing them being able to come in here and still put their all into their classwork, knowing that sometimes they may not have a place to sleep, they may not have food to eat, it's really heartbreaking. But in the same token, it really makes me proud to see that no matter what, it, they can come in here and they can do it, which makes me look at myself and say, whatever I'm going through, I know I can overcome it just like my students can, and I can achieve anything I want to as well, just like they can. Seeing that student that complained, kicked and screamed all the way through until they really got used to how we do things, um, and seeing that moment. I've been around for a very long time, so I know the moment, that aha moment, that moment when the student says, I got it. Like, they may not actually say it, but it's in the way they respond to a confrontation or the way they start to take lead, start to show some leadership ability. It's, it's those two moments in, in particular where um, I feel like I get the most uh, gratification from. Graduation day and the moment where they decide to stop fighting the system and go along with the way we do things. All of the students motivate me every day to want to improve our program to suit their needs and also to do a self-assessment of where I can improve as a human being to help our students. We have to make sure that we have our processes in place to cater to those students at all times. You know, from the student that comes in struggling and needing a lot of remedial and, and additional supports to the ones that are extremely advanced and need advanced supports. We have to make sure that as a program we can cater to both needs. You realize, okay, every student has some potential. Um, every student has some skill set that can be tapped into, we need to make sure that we provide different services to find out what those skills are so they can flourish. Every day we live, yeah. You can't tell me, yeah. Remember I was broke, yeah. Now I'm getting rich, yeah. yeah when you diamond cold, then the boot. Then you know you lit. When you quit, take a Then you know you lit. Every day we live, yeah. Every day we live.